Welcome back to Acoustic Paradiso on Anderton's TV. Hello. He's Ben. I am. I'm Lee. He can't see. I really he's got can't. His, he's got his VIP blindfold on because um, we thought we would test the power of Ben's uh, fingers and ears and, and put to test just how hard is it to tell whether a guitar is cheap, mid-priced or expensive if you can't see what it actually is. So, four acoustic guitars here. These are all a, a Dreadnought style shape. Um, no cutaway. Um, Dreadnought-ish, as you all know. You know, there's, a, there's obviously sort of slight variants, but Dreadnought-ish. Um, and we've got four price points here. One of them is under 500 pounds. One of them's between 500 and 1,000 pounds. Right. One of them's between 1,000 and 2,000 pounds. And one has no limit whatsoever. Could be 2,001, <clears> could be 50,000 pounds, who knows. There's no rhyme or reason here as to which brands we've chosen. And if you want to play along at home, switch your monitor off now. <laughs> so, oh, but you probably can't see. Here's the, here's the fourth one, just in case you couldn't see it. So there's the, right. the three in the middle and the fourth one. Doesn't really matter what we start with. So might as well start with the one I'm holding. All right. Here you are, Mr. Ben. Wait, okay. I know you love a blindfold. I do. Okay. All right. Okay. Comfortable, neck feels good, frets are nice, action's good. Reasonable tonal range. Big sound. Good. All right. <laughs> good. good. Excellent. Let's okay, move that's on to that's the next one, shall we? Yeah, certainly. Guitar numero duh. In no particular reasoning, I right. will go with this one. Okay. Oh, right. Coming in. Oh, lighter. Is it? Okay. Ooh. Different. Different voice on this one for sure. Okay, cool. That's a... Uh... I like this one. I think this is more expensive than the last one. <laughs> well, that's the name but, of the game, but let's see if you're right or wrong gonna, when okay. we get to the end. This is where um, I reveal myself as a complete fraud. have forward. another one. Here we are. Okay. Oh, sorry, I right. apologise. Okay. More mid rangey. Okay. This is tricky. Okay. Okay. Number four. 
<laughs> Are you, you don't want to say, okay, so at the well, moment, I don't, I mean, in, your, in your mind, yeah. you thought the second one was dearer than the first one. You may or may not be right there. Yeah. Are you going to put the third one somewhere in that mix just to sort of... The th Let me try the fourth. I think I can't decide. Okay. Those second two, they're quite, they're quite different, but they're both, they both feel nice. Okay. Um, in a kind of, yeah. Oh, this is, this is so hard. <laughs> Do apologise. I'm struggling here with me. Mic's falling off. Right. Okay. Okay. The fourth and final one. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now this is tricky. You said a ever. lot about the first one, slightly less about the second one, even less about the third one, it's, and now you're virtually <laughs> going to say nothing about the fourth it, one. As right? we get as we get more as we get further <laughs> into it, I realise how difficult it is to work <laughs> <laughs> yes to work it out. And I'm trying to remember what they were all like. I think. I mean, this is quite nice. They, they all play really well. Mm -hmm. I should say. I should point that out. They're, like, there's, they're all comfortable to play. The necks are, you know, different shapes, but they're all good. The action's good, all that kind of thing. So I'm really bringing it down to, as well as the kind of overall feel of them, the what I can get out of them with the dynamic stuff that we talk about all the time, the dynamic range yep. and all that kind of thing. Would you, do you want to do a second pass I, at them? I would. Is that okay. all right? In, in the... I tell you what, just to... Why don't you now mm. go off your first impression as to what you think the order of pricing is, and then that's the order I'll give them to you, oh. in, rather than Do necessarily... You want... And then you can go, yeah, this either reconfirms what oh. I originally thought, or no, I want to change it. OK, that's... I think that... Oh man, number it's it's the middle two that I did that are really foxing me as I can't. So what do you what do you think this last one is though? I think this might be one of the first two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let, let's. Okay. okay. I'm not. I don't want to put words in your mouth here. Okay. But why don't you just, for the sake of argument, why don't you assume the one you're holding is the cheapest one? Okay. That the first one you had is the next cheapest one. Okay. And then out of those two middle ones. Which, what, what, which way do you, want to, do you want me to give them back to you? Give them back to me in the, the order you gave them to me before. Okay. I think this one that I'm handing back to you might be the, the second most, ex like, the second up from the bo bottom, if that makes sense. But I'm going to pass. Oh. Now I'm confused. Know. All right, well, look, I tell no, okay. you know what I'm going to do? Okay. Can we agree, everybody on camera, that these are the two he thinks are the most affordable ones? and the other two he thinks are potentially they're not. So let's get these two sorted. So here is the very first one that okay. you played again. Great. And we'll just try and get okay. a decision between these two. Okay, well this is much nicer than that last one. Okay. Okay, I don't know that I don't know that I'm doing anything. <laughs> I don't know that I'm right now because I think. I... <laughs> okay. Well, look, you heard him, everybody. This is honestly. Can you imagine I if we had like oh, six or seven guitars? Oh my god, it'd be this a nightmare. Is the trickiest um, thing. So, out of the the, the last two guitars that yeah. you played, are you saying that I can't even the describe one that, the okay. colours of them or anything? Can no, I? you can't. Okay, so the the, the one that I just played. You're, it's definitely yeah. more expensive than okay. the one I played before that. So we're, if we sort of said one, two, three, four, one being the cheapest, four being the dearest, yeah. you're putting the one you just played in second place, <sighs> as in the second dear, the, the second cheapest, and the, oh my gosh, sorry, everybody. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm writing it down. Okay, so here are the two that you thought were the dearest. Okay. So that's the first one of them.
Okay. Still confident that that's one of the dearest ones? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> and here is your fourth and final one. Okay. So, have I got one more left to go? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I think this is more expensive than the last one. Well, I'm going to tell but, you... But... I'm not sure about the one I said was second now. Well, but, do you, I tell you what. Okay, okay. I, I, we'll put... We'll, let, give me that one back. Okay. We'll, we'll put the audience out of their misery, or you out uh, of your misery and tell you. But I will give you the option... To go through them again with no blindfold and see if you change your mind, just so once you know. All right. Um, so are we all in agreement that Ben thought this one was the cheapest, this one was the second cheapest, this one was the third cheapest, and this one was the dearest? Yeah, we think that's what Ben chose. Which, to be fair, congratulations to Ben. You actually got correct. Did I? Uh, so yes, you want to take your blindfold <laughs> off. <laughs> Ooh. Right. So... Um, your first guitar oh. was a Sire A4, okay. super popular dreadnought guitar with a solid top, um, and uh, sells for about £400. Right, okay. Yeah. Good. Nice guitar, right? Yeah, nice guitar. I remember these. We've done, we've done videos on yeah. these before. Um, yeah, great guitar. Cool. Your second guitar, and the one, to be honest with you, I... You, I, I almost, I couldn't tell whether you were going to place that as the cheapest or even maybe the second dearest at one point. I was like, so that was the Epiphone. That was the Epiphone Hummingbird. Yeah, that um, was a tricky one. For those eagle-eyed amongst you that spotted it, I just realised halfway through playing there's no battery in that, so you can see the battery terminal wire sort of dangling in the sound oh, hole. But oh that, yeah. That's all it is. Um, so give that a play. Sure. And see if you sort of still... It's... Go out a bit out of tune, but but yeah, it's like it feels like it's it needs a bit of playing. That I think that's the trick with acoustics. That's the thing. Like once you've done, mm. you know, once you've put a few hundred hours into them, they change so much. But this feels like it's gonna open up. Which that's from the sort of uh, original. What do they call it? It's the, it's the inspired by Gibson. That's yeah, what I thank yeah, you very yeah. much. Of. So that's actually um, that's a, a much more expensive guitar than people might remember the old Epiphone Hummingbird copies. Yeah, it's yeah. about 800 pounds. Yeah. But it's actually quite an authentic copy of the Hummingbird, which I have to say is, it's my favorite acoustic of all time. Is like it? The hum just the Hummingbird. I oh, just think well. it, the look of it, the way the scratch plates etched, the sound of it, I just think they're a wicked guitar. They so, do, I mean, yeah, um, I do love that design, I've got to say. So that's that one. Okay. Now, then you tried the tailor. Now, again, eagle eyes amongst you will notice that the tailor is a slope shoulder rather than a square shoulder, so it's maybe more reminiscent of a of a um, J45 kind of shoulders, but mm -hmm. it's still, you know, pretty much the same dimensions as, as, the, as the other three guitars. And this is the AD17, um, right. which is about 1700, something like that. So that was our sort of 1000 to 2000 yeah, yeah. guitar. It's not, I haven't played that many Taylors actually compared to other, other brands, so it's nice. But it is that, it's that tonal variation you can get on it that you mean as in it just has a, a bigger well it's a bigger sound but also just going, going from picking here oh, wow. 
just just moving. And you're you saying that the more affordable guitars just don't don't do that to the to the not, same extent. No, to, no, no, not at all. It's and that's like a big, that's a big thing that I find mm. between yeah between the kind of price points. If you're if you're strumming big mm. chords, it's fine. But once you get into the kind of the detail of of wanting to yep. change the tone by moving where you're playing and how you're picking, something that's kind of higher end will really bring that across more. Well, um, in what is a huge uh, sigh of relief, I'm sure, for both Andersons and Martin, uh, <laughs> the king of Dreadnought <sighs> Acoustics, in my opinion, the D28, um, yeah. which is about 3,000, maybe 3,500. Um, actually, I think 3,000 if you don't want the pickup, something in and around that sort of, mm. that, that sort of. And again, that's the Rosewood back and side, yeah. spruce top. I mean, it, it, it's what every other Dreadnought is trying to imitate, really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, between this and the D18, mm. that's two classics, isn't it? It's kind yes. of, it's almost like the, like the Stratocaster and Telecaster of the acoustic world, isn't it? <laughs> And it, you know, it's going to get... Oh. You know what, what I love here is now that it's just like everything. It's like if you had a favourite brand of clothes mm. and I said to you, right, here's four different pairs of underpants or whatever like that, but you're blindfolded so you can't see. And you're sort of, mar you're sort of marginally thinking, oh, I think this is my favourite, I'm not sure. But then I tell you it's the brand that you most mm. like. All of a sudden, you like, it's like... Yeah. what's the right word you just like you like it even more don't you? it just reaffirms that you were sort of correct yeah and it's just that interesting psychology isn't it as soon as you know like you know there's a little bit yeah. of me said that if if i'd have said oh actually you're, you're wrong and uh you you didn't get that right da -da -da, mm. i think you'd be disappointed that you hadn't chosen the brand that you'd hoped would win yeah and this but it's it's the thing yeah with, with kind of brand recognition and stuff you know that if you buy a Martin D28, it's still going to be good, mm -hmm. and, you know, unless you drop it really badly. And even if you do, you can get it fixed. But, you know, 50, 60, 70 years down the line, mm -hmm. it's just going to be It's going to be in better, better condition guitar. than either of us are, that's for <laughs> yeah, sure. for sure. And, and it's going to sound great. You probably say the same with the tailor, and, and yeah. to a certain degree, we didn't... I intentionally didn't pick any really cheap guitars for the shootout, no. because then I kind of almost feel it becomes too obvious. We, you know, if we'd have gone with a £99 guitar, I think you'd have sort of gone, well, it's obviously that. Yeah. So I was... I picked guitars that were you know, pretty good in their price points yeah. to sort of try and at least make it a difficult competition. And I, and I think from, you know, people can see, it wasn't like, yeah, that's the cheapest, yeah, no, that's no. the next one, that's the next. It was a, it, it was, was like genuinely tough, right? tricky to, to, to work it out. And it's, yeah, because, you know, you, de you definitely can't see through the blindfolds. And so you are just going by kind of feel and sound. And yeah, it's, it's a very tricky thing, but I'm glad I got it right. <laughs> well, look, so that's the first of our blindfold shootouts today. Uh, ben and I are going to do a couple more on um, some other shapes or sort of style of acoustic guitars. So if you enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, like and subscribe. All the details to do that are below. That's um, it. And yes, we shall see you in another video soon. See you soon. Thank you, Ben. All right, it's been a pleasure.